plaintiff, Cynthia Green, works from home, and she helps ex-offenders build their resume to find employment. Cynthia claims the defendant is her neighbor, and she believes the defendant's children damaged murals that she had hanging on her fence, so she's suing. Defendant Janelle Ellison says she's the queen of comedic poetry, and she's also involved in victim advocacy because she's a survivor of domestic and sexual abuse. Janelle denies that her children damaged Cynthia's property, and she's countersuing for lost wages and harassment. Start with you. Well, uh, Judge Mathis, thank you so much for allowing me to share my case. Um, I watch your show all the time, Thanks. yell and scream at you all the time. Uh, <laughs> but um, I um, have been a homeowner for 11 years, and uh, four neighbors share a fence. We all have shared fences. I work out of my home. I work with ex-offenders. I, what do you do with them? Well, I build their resume web pages, is what we call them, uh, which allows them to navigate and shop for employment uh, by using their phone instead of going to a workforce center to use their computer. So there's a lot of upfront work and building what they do, what they want to do, etc. What success uh, do you see? What rate um, is their success Most rate? of them are surprised that their criminal skills transferred over to their ability to navigate the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, but how about hirees, employers? I don't follow through in that. You know, my, my assignment is just to get their resume web pages built. Yeah, and it's very hard to find employment. What we've done is at the Math Center has helped them find start businesses. Yeah. And yeah. right now, we're setting up our urban farming program for the okay. ex-offenders. Oh, okay. We're providing tools, seeds, and everything necessary to plant vegetables and fruit. Right. Take those vegetables and fruit to your local store, liquor oh. store, corner store that sells bad food. You don't have a grocery market in the inner city. Right. So you make the food for your community. Okay. You take it to the local store. Mm -hmm. You say, let us let me put a rack up to sell healthy fruits and vegetables to our community. Right. We know you got the old expired food. <laughs> we know you got plenty of beer and liquor for us. Yes. Can you please buy wholesale products for me to put on the shelf? Right. And there's um, enough, unfortunately, liquor stores in our community I know. that should be able to accommodate that. Right. And hopefully they'll respect the uh, ex-offenders enough to know that that's good business. Right. Um, you well, know, you if, can't just take from the community. You got to give to the community. Right. Great idea. Right. They've taken. They're trying to give back. So liquor store seller, you try to give back with us. Um, so that's an idea I want to give to you right. for your um, clients that you work with. Right. So I, I help them do that. And... Um, I met the defendant first in uh, June of 2021. She has um, a large trampoline in her yard and I guess kids, uh, I think grandkids or what have you, and a dog. And I have three dogs. And the fence murals that we put up, I put up on my side of the fence, stops my dogs from seeing over on her property and barking at her dogs and what have you and you know they bark you know but it kind of slows them down a little bit so um that's where the the fence mural art work came from okay. but i've always done that with my you know bordering neighbors okay. like some are mountain paintings some uh are leaves with canvas backgrounds okay. You know, but that's initially how I met uh, the defendant, so to speak. Uh, you have gotten along? No. <laughs> what have you been falling out over and how long has that been? Well, I first met her in June of 2021 after, we put the, after I put the murals up about the dogs. Next, since I work out of my home, uh, my office is right on the backyard. And so her kids were in the early part of July 21, 
laughing and having a good time like kids do on her trampoline. And I went out back and asked to speak to her and shared with her that there was a park up the block with a pool and um, that, you know, if she wanted to take them there, you know, to play or what have you, because that kind of screaming was disruptive to me doing my work and what have you. And what did she say to you? She Go said, to Starbucks or to the library and do your work then and let my <laughs> kids play? I went out back and asked to speak to her and shared with her that there was a park up the block with a pool and um, that, you know, if she wanted to take them there, you know, to play or what have you, because that kind of screaming was disruptive to me. Defendant Janelle Ellison is being sued by her neighbor, who claims Janelle's children damaged murals that she had hanging on her fence. Go ahead, let me hear from you, ma'am. Give me some background. Thank you, Judge. Um, Judge, I'm the, the queen of cometry. Um, my back queen of who? Queen of cometry. I do comedic poetry. Okay. And I tour doing spoken word, and I am a victim's advocate. And because humorous spoken word? Humorous, yes. Okay. I've, I've, I've fused comedy and poetry, so I've, they've given me the name of Queen of Cometry. Good. And I do that as well as advocacy work because um, I've, I'm a survivor of domestic uh, as well as sexual um, abuse. What do you do? Um, I speak to kids who are um, wayward teens, and I work with, uh, with youth out there. I do teach poetry groups and have them kind of get their, Where? their counseling uh, various in Denver. I'm sorry. I'm in Denver, Denver. Colorado. So various Hopefully places. you help them in Montbello, right? I am in Montbello. I graduated from Montbello High School. That's my alma mater. And um, I, I used help. to live in Montbello. I do. I used to live in Montbello. I and, did too. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Well, great. Good. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Um, but what I do is I help with wayward teens and I teach poetry workshops and I kind of help them get through um, through all the mental side of things by through creativity. Is all the teens in uh, Mount Bello are now wayward? Not all of them. <laughs> it, was nice. it was nice before I came to town. It's, it's <laughs> now nice, they're all nice. wayward. <laughs> Not all of them, but the, I focus on the ones who are so in the So tell me about area. your experience with your neighbor uh, um, from the beginning. How did okay. the relationship begin? And now I'm hearing the first troubles started in July regarding your children making too much noise. Thank you, Judge. They actually started in March. They started before I even moved into the home. The I, par I purchased my home in March, and um, I cleaned up before I moved in. On the day I was cleaning, uh, Miss Green approached the fence and uh, told me that our neighbor was, I didn't know her name yet, still didn't know her name. She came up to tell me that our next door neighbor was racist. If I had dogs, he's the dog Nazis. And it was like, you know, I haven't moved in yet. I, I just said thank you for that information and walked away. I was very turned off by the fact that someone would try to create drama but with people I haven't even had a chance to, to meet yet. I hadn't even had a chance to meet Go ahead. Yet. So I went back in home and said, okay, well, thanks for that. Um, about three weeks later after we actually moved in, my kids were outside. It was actually late May um, and it, was, it wasn't June yet. It was late May when they were on the trampoline. It was a Sunday afternoon and they were jumping for about an hour is what they were doing. She came out and said, you know, your children have been jumping for a while. Um, it's been about an hour. How long are they going to be out here? And I said, well, it's a Sunday afternoon and they're jumping in their own yard. Um, when, it, when is it OK for them to jump in the yard? And she said, well, my office is here. She said, there's a, a pool around the corner. And I said, yes, it's also COVID and the children aren't allowed to go anywhere. They, they're going to have to play in their own yard because they can't go anywhere else. Um, when is it okay for them to jump? She said, well, you know, I don't know. It's just, I'll just have to get used to having kids next door. I'm not used to having children um, out at next door to me. So I said, okay. And her tone and her, the way she was carrying, you could tell she was really upset that they were out there. And so I told my children to come in. And from that date, we've pretty much avoided her like the plague. She's, uh, she just goes into her yard and she, she yells on her phone, having conversations that consist of yelling, screaming, and curse words, You're where my honor, children are I can't are believe afraid. she's lying so much. My Your children, children, are, my children are, are 12 and 5. They're, um, they will be where when she's talking on the They're on the, the trampoline or in the backyard. And uh, every they're time... They're jumping up and down, but yes, yet sir. they can hear her conversation? She comes out of the house. Every time they're in the backyard, she comes out. And, and, and has... And, yes into the yard and she has these conversations where she's screaming and yelling and cursing and my kids are afraid to be outside. Now you wanna to get to the property damage? Um, if you would turn to page uh, four 
in your packet, Your Honor, you'll see the fence mural artwork that I am talking about and how my yard borders with hers. The fence artwork is, is mine, obviously, and her house is directly behind me. And the, you can see the large uh, trampoline behind that. And if you look at page five, you'll see how it sprawls across the yard, the trampoline and the, and the artwork. Look on page 12. You'll start seeing the damage that was done to my property. I, I was in shock. I've never met anybody that has done anything like this. Who period. You, and you say her kids did it? Well, I'm saying more likely than not, through the process of elimination, someone from that address Who did this. <laughs> the established neighbors that live on the side of me, uh, we all border and share fences. Remember, I've been you there. Remember, you don't like the whites next door. So well, you got an enemy and he, right there. Well, he they doesn't. You got the crooks. They, Some others who the, don't like Honor, you. You think everybody might like you in the neighborhood, but Your that Honor, might not be true. From what I'm hearing, there's a lot of people in that neighborhood that don't like you. I'm sure. Go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, if you look at page six, and you'll see that my artwork borders with the neighbor mm -hmm. uh, that is a survivalist, okay? He is a survivalist. Mm -hmm. He's the only white person in our neighborhood, and he does have issues with people of color. That's established. Yeah, he I just likes you. He, he just hates, hates you. He does. And that's who destroyed your property. No, he's gonna bring this woman <laughs> in, and you haven't seen her do anything? <laughs> have you seen the children do it? Can I finish, Your Honor? No, you can answer my question. Okay. Have you seen her children do it? I've never monitored my backyard. Okay, so you don't have any evidence that her so, children did it. more likely than not. Do you have not, any evidence, I say? More likely okay, than not. Okay, you keep telling me more likely than not. I keep asking you for evidence. I never you don't saw have any. them. You're not gonna blame these children with no evidence I when you obviously have children. other enemies. I'm saying... You have enemies, ma'am. People don't like you. They, and that's why somebody destroyed, I can tell. Can't. Your attitude in here today, you don't even want the kids to play in their own I backyard never said that during to her. COVID. Have a good day. You Get a honor, better I life never, for yourself so that you that won't be mistreating your neighbors, dragging her in the court, and you have zero evidence of it. And all I, you've done is talk over me and be disrespectful. And so you don't have any evidence that her children did it. That means I'm dismissing your case. Yours is granted. Next time, be respectful. Don't talk over a judge and leave those children alone. Have a good day. You. Tell the babies I said hi. Thank you, Judge. Um, since I don't know what brought us here, is there anything? I tried to go to, to mediation to try to resolve this You're without a liar. coming to court. I here's, have nothing more to say. Um, to her. So here's the thing from the mediation group saying we tried to go to mediation. Is there anything that we can do to where I don't have to deal with this when we get home? Because I didn't do anything to get here She's in the first a liar. place.